Hey, hello there, Gemini. Welcome to my channel. I'm so happy to have you here to watch your tarot card prediction. This card reading covers September 9th to September 16th of 2018. This is a general reading. More extensive readings can be booked by sending me a question through email or hit on a link below. Your every comment earns you an entry to win a free reading. Hit that notification bell so you know for when you win. Remember, check out those past video predictions. They will resonate more clearly then when the week has arrived. Okay, Gemini, I've blessed, shuffled, and meditated over this card reading just for you. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere of that week. It's the basis of the matter. It's the background of the question. The Five of Cups, Gemini. You got the Five of Cups. You have a little regret. And you're brooding. You're feeling disappointed. And you're dwelling on something that happened in the past. It was painful. Those two standing cups that are behind you there, they represent what is really important. This is a card of choice. You can continue to brood over what went wrong or you can take time to think about how it can be better in the future. Try not to anticipate loss. You might be feeling sad and remorseful and blaming yourself, but have faith in those two cups that are behind you. That's love. Your second card, it's the energy crossing over your path. It's the immediate future. It's occurring now. The Five of Pentacles, Gemini. The Five of Pentacles. You're feeling left out. You're struggling and maybe sharing some hardships with others. Could be unemployment or some kind of financial loss. You're having doubts, but it is okay to ask for help. These hardships will pass away. You're not alone. You feel like you're an outsider because you're crippled by circumstances. But this is temporary. It's a temporary struggle. It could be ill health or an injury, but you might find yourself complaining. But you are rebuilding your self-worth and support is available. You just have to ask. Your third card, and this is how it affects you. The Two of Wands, Gemini. The Two of Wands. Looks like you have the world in your hands. This card stands for aspiration. And you have started something and you're awaiting results. Could be business success or some kind of future possibilities. It's a creative tension and longing. There's a new outlook. There may be some kind of power over others. There's deciding the next move, perhaps planning, or a desire for travel. But change is in the air. You're to pursue your desire and wait for your decision to mature. Your fourth card, it's the future, the outcome, the results, the advice, how to respond. Number eight of the major arcana in the Rider Waite deck, strength. Number eight, strength. This card is the Leo card. It also means fortitude and courage and determination. This is a card of fate. You're using self-control and it's a time when faith in yourself will pay off. Endure for a better future. You're holding steady despite challenges. You're being strong in spirit. So stay gentle and use your courage and your quiet confidence. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. It's the underlying issue. It's what's unseen. The Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is bringing in water energy. Could be a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces. This is a mature and sensitive person. They're empathetic. They're loving. 
could be a mother or a counselor. They're creative and artistic. They may have psychic ability. They have vision. They're loyal and authentic. And all these things are blended with mature judgment. She leads with her heart over her head. She may like to be near water and she may require some solitude to refresh herself. Thank you so much, Gemini. I love all your comments and your validations and subscribes. Keep them coming. Bless you. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so keep it positive. Love and light.